Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Thanks so much for being here. In today's video, I am going to be talking all about Girlland's 2021 Spring Collection. I picked up their pink pearl meteorites, so I am going to be demoing these pearls. I am going to show you some comparisons, and yeah, if that doesn't sound and this is first time here, I'm she. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I do hope you stay and subscribe for more luxury content by clicking that red button that says subscribe, and also come over to my Instagram because over there, I do keep you posted on new makeup cells, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so let's begin. As you can see, I have a full face on, but nothing much on my cheeks. We're going to be applying a little bit of this Guerlain bronzer in a sec, and then the meteorites. So they released their spring collection. They released two pearls, two meteorites, and then they released two lipsticks with two beautiful casing, which I didn't grab. I do not need more lipstick. Unless it's something like groundbreaking, I'm not going to be purchasing so so many lipsticks this year because truly guys we're not using them that much so I skipped on those um yeah that's that but they released two pearls one is a uh, this one in the picture that is right there and this one is called pearl glow and this one you guys looks really light I didn't want to pick it up because I don't want like I have a feeling that that's going to be for light complexion people and that may be just ashy on my skin I don't know that's just my feeling so I decided to go with pink pearl which was the most exciting in my opinion to me because it looked really unique so this is what this year's meteorites look like when you open it up as usual you get that stopper and you get a ton of product here so those pearls are already like crushing to each other but these are them so you can really tell that they're really pink you know there is a good mix of lighter pink and then like brighter pink pearls in there so we're going to be applying this that's why I didn't apply any uh, blush because this may double as a blush I did wanted to show you this one to compare and we're gonna do a swatch in a minute but these ones are the ones from the holiday 2020 collection these are the golden bees and here you can see that you get a lot of colors that you can mix together you get green and purple white and then gold to really color correct and this one gives you a more golden you know glow if you want to see an application of this product I'm gonna link my video up off these are beautiful these are the first pearls that I actually tried and I love them I feel like they do give you a finishing you know look beautiful just blurring effect after you finish your whole face of makeup so these were stunning i do really like them they smell you know girl any i am going to first apply the golden bee bronzer which is a little bit of um shimmery bronzer but not too, too crazy i could actually apply these as a blush and i think that's what i'm going to be doing for springtime this bronzer just it gives you sun immediately and it just makes me think about springtime which i don't know if i'm in denial you guys but i am so ready for spring i don't know i'm just so over winter i feel like i need to get outside even if we're still in quarantine but at least just to be outside and you know just just be outside taking a little bit of sun and whatever so my base if you're wondering is girl lens foundation so i applied this foundation today and i applied for my setting powder this one by chanel in the shade 30 i believe yes this is what my complexion is looking like i have no blush so let's go ahead and crush a little bit of these pearls you're meant to just uh, do this before you use them I'm sorry if that was too loud but you do want to crush them before you go ahead and use 
The brush that I'm going to be using is this one by Sonia. It is her Master Face. You can totally use just a flat top brush or something like this that is a little bit loose. If you take a look at Guerlain's um, Meteorized brush, it's just something like really fluffy and loose. You don't want something super packed. So I am going to, ooh, yeah, there's a ton, a ton in here. And I don't know if you can see, but it picks up a ton of color already. So I am going to apply like here. As you can see, I'm really building up this product, especially on my cheeks. I don't want to be too red on this area, but this has a ton of glow. Let me show you. Can you see my forehead? It is beautiful, but you have to not apply a lot, just like I did if you don't want, you know, this much glow, but I think it's beautiful. This could totally be your blush topper, you know, like it gives me some color, but I, I'm not sure if I can like get away with this um, without blush. I could use it as a topper again. What do you think? Do you think I don't need more blush? <laughs> I'm a blush person. I do love my cheeks to be blushy so I feel like I need blush but no I really don't I think this is enough okay I'm going to oh now that I got some of the more brighter pink pearls on top that I mixed them more I got a ton of colors so oh yeah I'm not gonna put any in here because I don't really want that pink on my um, on my chin area. I don't mind it on my nose and on my forehead. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot on my forehead. So I feel like that's a ton of glow and I'm not really in love with it. So I'm going back into the Chanel powder just a little bit. See if we can take away some of this glowiness. This is beautiful. I don't know what do you guys think. I don't know if you like the look of it. Um, but these pearls are truly just filtery. When you put them on your complexion, they do make you uh, just look really blurred and perfected. Like look at my complexion like I was looking pretty good because this powder is really nice really mattifying though but it's really really nice at blurring and perfecting the complexion but I feel like these pearls just seal the deal this is for a beautiful natural makeup kind of day for of course spring and summer with these pearls I don't feel like I need extra highlighter or blush so this is going to be my just one-stop shop if I want to you know just be super glowy and just look really healthy and pretty oh my god I love it I love the look I really do I feel like it is a little bit much <laughs> on my forehead what do you guys think i think it's it is quite a bit but i couldn't i couldn't you know i couldn't buff it away i did want it to do a little bit of a swatch so i'm digging down onto that container to do a swatch these are really hard to swatch to be honest i don't know if you're gonna be able to see much uh but you guys see it is a goldeny kind of powder you can call um it is really neutral and nice and so now let me throw my finger into this one i went all the way to the bottom to pick up product let me see can you see anything hold on let me build it up okay you can see 
So that one is a pinky, definitely compared to the Golden Bees from 2020. If you want to see more comparisons with these meteorites, I am going to leave a Susanna's channel in my description box. Susanna is a dear friend of mine. She is also a content creator and she has a ton of these little balls so um she went in depth into all of the ones that she owns and she applied it to and everything so i'm gonna leave her video below for sure because i did watch that video and enjoyed it quite a bit i was so excited to apply these on my face and i forgot to mention where i got them from i apologize i got them from the hudson bay here in canada um and they shipped really really fast right now they're sold out everywhere they have them on Selfridges really briefly. I am going to continue to update my description box in case that you, you know, you um, see this video later on. You can always refer to my description box because I am going to keep you posted where I see them. And also in my community tab, if I ever see them, because that was like with this one, I had to update you a ton of times and you guys really appreciated that. And so, I thought I'll do the same for this one. I got them online, so if you're in Canada, you can go to Hudson Bay, they have them. Uh, and I believe they had they have the other one, the pearly one, the um, you know, the lighter one. So if you are fair complexion, fair and light complexion, you can totally you know try those if you like, but they also have the pink ones. This will be rolling, you know, out slowly but surely because as I mentioned this is from their spring collection though so they should actually you know bring more out they do sell so fast you guys so I do recommend you find them if you want them just go ahead and purchase them because these are beautiful. Alright friends, and that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of these pearls? Did you like them? What do you think of the blush highlighter idea? I would love to know your thoughts. So leave me a comment. Thanks so much you guys for love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!